It's time for another film focus with Emily Cook, she of Real Vision Film Solutions fame. This week we're talking about more Christmas classics. Danny Lacey joins us and we're talking about smiling as well. Hello, how are you? Brilliant, thank you very much. Slightly tired though. Tell us about that. Why are you tired? Well, I'm running on two hours sleep because last night I was on a film shoot and it started at 6pm and lasted to 6am. So a 12-hour shoot all the way through the night yes. until the morning. Are you sort of running on adrenaline? Running on adrenaline. And how was the shoot? Was it good? Productive? Um, Get everything you needed? It was fantastic. It was actually the final shoot of a pilot that's being shot on the island currently. It's called Amy's Choice. It's being produced by XR Productions. Um, Bev Lawley, who was our guest on week one, um, actually is the producer for it. And she wrote it with John Crane, who are, who was our guest last week. Um, it's very much an uh, Isle of Man filmmaking cooperative effort. And it's it's it was a really great four-day shoot. And even Danny Lacey, who's joining us later, came over from the UK um, to first AD for it, which we'll talk about that role a bit later. So tell us a little bit about Amy's Choice then. Well, it's actually a pilot for the Real Life Education Project, which will be a series of hard-hitting films aimed at young people and dealing with issues such as safety, violence, bullying, drinking and drugs. Um, As I said, Bev Lawley is the one who started it from exile and Tony Wright, a retired school teacher from Castle Russian, also set it up with her. Um, It's been fully endorsed by the Chief of Police and the Chief Executive of Education here on the Isle of Man. So will it be um, played in schools or is it going to be going to the big silver screen? What's the plan for it? As this is the pilot, um, it's sort of testing the water with it and then we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully the idea is that there are several episodes created and it becomes a series which then will go through the schools um, that's that's the hope with it. And do you get the feeling working on the project that it's going to be it's going to be something special? I have good feelings about it. Yes, because I think there's very much a need for this because young people interpret film as their method of communication, and it's the right way to speak to them and get a message across. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the plot then to wet our whistle, if you will. It's about a girl called Amy, who's an 18 year old university student with her whole life and promising future ahead of her. One night, due to a turn of events and making the wrong choices, her safety is compromised, which will change her life forever. Sounds exciting. It does sound exciting. It's it's quite hard hitting. I was going to say, touching on some fairly not taboo subjects, but some important subjects maybe for for young people on the island and, and elsewhere as well. Although it was shot here, we've been very careful to set it in the UK, so it can be easily marketed to the UK and the Isle of Man. So we've got a mixture of accents in there. We've got Scouse accents, we've got kind of neutral accents and that's really, really important um, to make it palatable to everybody and not feel that this is something made that isolates other markets. Well, good luck with that project. Thank That's you. something to uh, get our teeth into perhaps in the new year. But looking back for our one to watch, we like to pick out classics every so often. And you've done so this week. I'm so excited about your one to watch. I'm absolutely on the edge of my seat, literally. <laughs> um, my one to watch this week is Steven Spielberg's um, 1991 film Hook. Hook, 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 Hook. I love Hook. It's actually one of my favourite films ever. It's actually one of mine as well. Really? Yes. And it stars Robin Williams as Peter Pan, Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell and Dustin Hoffman as Hook. Yeah. It's such a, a magic film. And although it's only rated three stars on IMDb, which I'm a bit cross about, um, it's one of those films that encapsulates that nostalgia of childhood. And for somebody who has that background with it from watching it every year when they were a child, it's like magic when it comes on and they get that that special feeling in their stomach. But what's special here is that it's actually showing at the Broadway cinema, so you get the opportunity to see it on the big screen, whereas this is normally a film that might be shown on TV at Christmas. Um, I've, I've never seen it on the big screen. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going. So that's screening tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, so one for the kids if you've if you've not taken them, if they've not seen Hook before. Ashley, I've told you this before. There's never a film for just kids. This is a film for everyone. <laughs> it's a film for kids and big kids at heart. It's nostalgia. It's yes. nostalgia for me. I love it. I remember watching it when I was little and I would probably still watch it every year. And I will, no doubt, before Christmas. I might get down tomorrow to the Broadway cinema. OK, then, coming up, who are we talking to this week on Film Focus? We're going to be joined by Danny Lacey after this song. 
um, and I'm very excited about introducing him to you. So let's hear a track that Danny actually co-wrote specifically for Love Like Hers, a Danny Lacey short film. It's called Here Tomorrow and it's performed by Anna Goldsmith on Saturday Night Live. More from Danny after this. (laughs) 